Okay, so this video should have come before I did any cane reviews um, because I expect you guys to somehow be mind readers, but well, realization, um, maybe you're not. <laughs> Hi guys! I am back to talk to you a little bit about why I'm doing the cane trials that I am doing this summer and also to respond to some of the comments that you guys have been leaving on some of my earlier cane trials um, because if you don't have a Google account, I can't respond to your comments. So this is as close as I can get to saying, hey, I'm trying to talk to you. Um, so let's go ahead and dig in. Um, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I'm trying several different types of cane this summer. And some of you are asking why um, I'm doing so much with reed making in the summer months. And um, there are a lot of reasons, um, but the big three reasons, first off, is that um, I am a professor and also a freelance musician, and that um, sometimes when I'm called for freelance work, I am called with um, just enough time to pack up all of my materials put some concert black clothes in the car and drive to the gig. Um, and there for big orchestras, it's happened where uh, people have had family emergencies. Um, I've gotten the call and because I don't live locally, I've got to go. And I need to know that I have reads that are ready to go and ready to fit any concert situation. So that's part of it. Um, the other part of it is by being a full-time professor as well as a freelance musician, the month of December. Whoa. Okay, the month of December, um, I just finished finals here at JSU, and as soon as that's done, I usually start rolling into nutcracker performances. Um, and sometimes they even overlap with uh, the end of the semester grading. So um, the stress level is real, and the last thing I want to be worried about is uh, reads, breaking them in, and knowing what I have in my read box. So gig miss. Okay, Gigmas is real. He is, I'm gonna venture and say he is more real than the Grinch and Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it. The second major reason that I'm going through the cane trials, and this is as well why I'm doing not just the gouged on my own system to test the cane, but also I'm looking at the gouge shaped and profiled, is that I am looking for the ultimate gouge shaped and profiled cane for my students to make reads out of. Um, just quick, easy, they don't have to do a ton of scraping, it has a shape that I like, a heart that I like, um, and there's a lot of cane on the market. So for me, um, I'm trying both the gouged and the gouge shaped and profiled because I am looking for the ultimate gouge shaped and profiled cane for my students. The other aspect is that oftentimes when you are looking at cane and it's being sold online, they tell you, oh, it's gouge shaped and profiled and they might give you a little bit of if the cane is medium, medium hard, um, the density of it, but they don't tell you what the shape is. They don't tell you what the profile is. They don't... Um, you know, they can be ambiguous about how cane, how hard the cane is, but it's a big difference when you're experiencing it for yourself. So for me, I want to know when I'm ordering a piece of cane, what shape it is and what profile it is. And also what the cane typically sounds like. Um, you know, it's a variable, so it is gonna shift up ever so slightly with each piece that you buy. But overall this year, what the cane that's being sold, what it sounds like. The next reason I am trying all of these different types of cane is to improve my knowledge base. Um, I do guest clinician work at various universities and festivals. And at one of the universities that I was at last year, a student handed me a read from a gouge shaped and profiled piece of cane um, that was not a type of cane that I had worked with before. And I know what the cane that I work with regularly does when I have my tips or tricks to it, uh, but this type of cane was not responding in a way that I was used to it um, because I hadn't worked with it. Um, and immediately I thought, I need to try every type of cane out there so I know 
typically how it will respond, um, my tips and tricks if I'm trying them out, if they'll work on that type of cane. Um, and also it turned out that my tips and tricks weren't working because the heart was too thin on the reed, so it was just naturally unstable. Um, but I hadn't thought of that first. And I was left with this feeling when I left that university with, I need to know more. I want to know every type of cane out there that's on the market each year how it responds to uh, my tips and tricks and you know some years uh, one piece of cane because it is a naturally growing fiber they'll have a great year maybe the weather was great maybe the soil was great that year um, and I want to know based on what vintage it is where it's from what I am working with okay let's do a quick update on the goblet style Madeir cane from Midwest Musical Imports the goblet gouge shaped and profiled of Madeir um, was a type of cane that I mentioned in my Madeir cane review. Now if you watch that you know that I like the Madeir cane for high note playing or anytime you have a lot of projection that you're working on. Interestingly enough, the goblet shape is the Fox 2. Now the uh, RDG version of the gouge shaped and profiled Madeir cane is the Rieger 1A. For those of you who have been following me a while, for a while, you know that I kind of say that these shaper tips are virtually the same. If you look at the dimensions of the two shaper tips um, that are shown on the Barton Kane website, you can see that the overall shape is just slightly differing by two millimeters. Okay, because there has been such an amazing response to the idea of doing these cane review videos and you guys as subscribers have asked me to look at different types of cane, I do have to let you know that I have done another little mini haul order um, and I went ahead and ordered some Rieger cane as well as some Gies and some Gonzales. So if there is a type of cane out there that I haven't tried or put on the list to try um, that you think I should be trying, do take a second and leave me a comment because because um, I'm interested in trying what you're working with and then uh, sharing our results to see, um, you know, how it differs. It's just so exciting. You guys have been awesome in your comments and responses that you guys want to hear the reads. Um, what I'd like to do is play um, several of the reads back to back so you can hear all of the differences um, rather than putting it at the end of each video. I think a truer comparison would be um, after I have like a little mini stockpile of several different types and then I will play the versions that are on my system for my heckle which is shorter um, that I have scraped down and then I'll also play the gouge shaped and profiled on my Puchner and I won't do any scraping to those reads so that you can hear if you just clip the tip and play on that cane um, how it sounds. I am going to take a little bit of time to do this because um, let's just be honest, I needed a piece to play that uh, YouTube would not silence due to copyright protections um, because you know my original thought was that you guys were all going to end up listening to the Golden Girls theme song because I test reads with that song because it makes me happy. Um, but then I realized, okay, YouTube would silence it. Um, so what I did is I spoke to Brian Christian, who um, I am working with right now. He is writing a piece for me. And I asked him for a melody from that piece that he would release from copyright protection so that I could demonstrate each of the different reads. And you would hear the same melody on each of the different styles. And then you could draw your own conclusions about what you think of each read rather than me just telling you here's what I'm experiencing here's what I'm noting there's a big difference when you hear it for yourself okay now I'm looking for some feedback from you guys do you like the amount of videos that I'm posting on reads right now um, I am stockpiling a lot of reads I am of course making a lot of reads to try the different types of cane and my YouTube is reflecting my life right now like reads are my life. Um, so if you want some bassoon videos, I can totally intersperse some of those. Um, but I kind of am looking for some feedback from you guys. Do you like this right now? Or would you prefer to have some bassoon videos like breaking up the monotony of discussions of reads and cane? Please, please comment and let me know. And finally, I want you guys to know that I am not just arbitrarily trying cane and then just throwing my ideas out there on YouTube. Um, I am taking extensive notes on each read that I make. Um, for each type of cane, I have about four or five pages of handwritten notes, thoughts, and ideas on it. Um, and I'm trying to 
buy more cane of the cane that I like the results that I'm getting and um, kind of letting go of some of the cane that maybe isn't my favorite. Um, so I want you to know that I am not just haphazardly making reads and trying things. The system that I'm using is the same for each read so that I get consistent results and so that the main variable is the cane that I'm trying and that I, I don't want to just say that a piece of cane isn't good if it's not um, or that I just gave up. So um, I want you guys to know that I am taking it very seriously and um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you liked this video and you want to do more question answer videos, do leave me comments down below um, so that I know you like this style of video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the future videos on um, the cane reviews and the experiences that I'm having from my read desk to yours, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye! and that my goal this summer is to try several different types of cane and give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek onto my read desk to tell you what I've been experiencing with the different types of cane. Okay, let's dig into your comment on the rear. First off, I build, I build. Is that a good way to say it? I make a lot of my reads in the summer. You guys are not mind readers and um, several of the, several, ooh,